<clears throat> so what we're doing today, just acquired this Powercraft 230 welder and it had this plug on it. And in my house, it has this type of receptacle, which is a NEMA 14-50, I believe. Uh, is accurate and we're gonna be swapping that focus swapping that out with this guy now some of y'all might be wondering well why not just change out the plug that would be easier but I only got to do it once and when I take my welder to somewhere like my father-in-law's ranch he's got this older style receptacle so I'll be able to use it more versatile. You might also ask why not just an adapter? Well, because the adapter is about range between 50 and 100 bucks and this receptacle was $10. All right. All right, so I've made sure that my breaker is off for my 220 supply. Sure, you can show you that's the one, but we will test it. All right, so just for visual reference, I'm going to show you how this works. So, I went ahead and flipped the breaker on, and to show you, this will tell you if there is power. So, that means power. There it is. Power is pulling off that one. And there is power for that one. And if you guys are familiar with how these new ones work, uh, kind of like a dryer cord, you have 220 is your red and black, white is your neutral. So an appliance that has 220 and 110, like a dryer or some other appliance, would draw between the red and the white, your neutral and hot. Whereas a welder only has uh, a ground and a red and black. Or in the case of that welder, it's a, a uh, black and white for just the 220. So I'm gonna turn back off the breaker and you will see that this will stay green. All right, breaker is off now. Now you will see that I touched the same wires. There is no change in this color. So there's the black, the white, and the red. So, Alright, just got this guy out, the 14-50, and I'll be putting in the 6-50, or 6-40, whatever. I'll be going in here. Alright, here you got the 6-50. You'll notice there's only three spots, so we're only going to be using the red and the black and the ground. We are not gonna use the white, so I'm gonna tape that up. Uh, I'll put a cap on it and roll it back up in there. All right, I just wanna show you guys, and yes, I went ahead and turned the light on. I've got the neutral wrapped up here. I took a cap and then I just taped crap out of it. <clears throat> What I'm actually going to do is physically manhandle it and roll it up inside there just so it's out of the way. More to come. Alright, well, we've got the wires in now. We have red, black, and this is the ground. And you see I've got the neutral back there. 110 because we'll not be using it. And I'm going to get it Plated back into here, push back in and get the cover on, and then we will try it out. And I know what you're thinking. Oops, sorry. It does look like it's upside down, but that's how the plug goes in the uh, welder. Uh, especially when you have a welder outlet that's this high off the ground, you will be plugging it in as such, as you will see later. All right. <clears throat> so 
Finally got the spec on. Got the plug on. The breaker's back on. <sighs> Plugged in, we did everything right. This should emit a buzzing noise and the fan should come on. scary I saw the arc in there but I guess that's how they work so everything seems to work and that is how it's done I will strike an arc in a little bit uh, that will probably be a separate video